like a phoenix rising from the ashes. What are you doing? I'm making a point, duh. Welcome to Major Issues. Today, we unleash the Phoenix. Created by Chris Claremont and Dave Cockrum in 1976, Uncanny X-Men number 101 is the beginning of the Phoenix saga when it attaches itself to Jean Grey. Now, it's important to explain, Phoenix is not Jean Grey, but rather one of the oldest cosmic forces in the entire Marvel Universe. Eventually, this leads to the critically acclaimed Dark Phoenix Saga. It's all very confusing, and the details get retconned over time, but in this classic issue, it appears as though Phoenix has taken control of Jean Grey's body, and Cyclops is very sad about it. Because I thought that the X-Men were what gave my life meaning, but they're not. It's Jean. It's always been Jean, only I never realized it till now. Jean! This issue is also the first time Wolverine realizes he has feelings for Jean Grey as well. What's Jean Grey to you anyway? Someone I like and want, and what Wolverine wants, he gets. Not this time, bub. What the? Stick it in your ear, bub. Of course, this leads to 40 plus years of Jean Grey being the worst girlfriend ever. By now, the Phoenix Saga has been adapted in the 90s cartoon and later ruined by X-Men The Last Stand. Bonus treat, Uncanny X-Men number 101 also features the first full appearance of Juggernaut's Irish bestie, Black Tom Cassidy. And together, we two are going to do what no other villains in the world have been able to do. We're going to kill the X-Men. Spoiler alert, they don't. Guys, pick up Uncanny X-Men number 101 for yourselves. For ComicBook.com, I'm Chris Killian, and we'll see you next issue.